Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two large stones in the ureter with severe hydronephrosis and moderate hydroureter. You can see the right kidney and it shows moderate to severe hydronephrosis with some loss of cortical thickness. It is generally thought that only smaller stones can be impacted in the ureter, but in this case you can see two large stones each of about 18.8 mm and 14.0 mm lying adjacent to each other and are impacted in the proximal portion of the ureter. There is severe dilatation of the renal pelvic calcellus system with moderate to severe hydroureter. You can see the tracing of the ureter, the stones in the ureter. It requires a bit of practice and a bit of patience because ureters are not easy to localize. You will have to practice and with practice you can you locate, localize the stones in the ureter. Once the stone gets caught in the ureter, it may partially or completely block the flow of urine. This blockage causes pain that is usually felt in the middle of the back or side and may radiate towards the grinds if the stone lies in the middle and distal portion of the ureter. If a stone that is blocking urine flow is left untreated, it can cause damage to kidney or ureter. Now if it is left untreated, kidney stones may block the ureters to make them narrower this increases the risk of infection or urine may build up and put added strain on the kidneys. Now you are going to see the tracing of the stone in the ureter. You can see the ureter, the proximal portion of the ureter. just adjacent to the kidney near the pelvic ureter junction. Now you can see the, the tracing further downwards, tracing of the ureter. Approximately 60% of kidney stones that are 4 to 6 mm will pass on their own in about 45 days. Around 20% of the kidney stones that are larger than 6 mm will pass on their own in about 12 months. Now you can see the right ureter, the upper one third of the right ureter and now you can see a large stone impacted in the proximal portion of the ureter. If you leave this scan at this point, you will not be able to see the other stone that is lying further downward near the this large stone. As you will see later in this video, the other stone. Now this stone measures about 18.8 millimeter. Although this is not the exact size of the stone you will have to focus the whole length of the stone as you will see later in this video these stones that are larger than six millimeter it is best to seek immediate surgical removal now you can see the yes, whole length of the stone A ureteral obstruction is a blockage in one or both of the tubes, ureters that carry 
urine from the kidneys to the bladder ureteral obstruction can be curable however if it is not treated symptoms can quickly move from mild pain fever to infection and severe loss of kidney functions and sepsis now you can see the other stone also both the stones are visible large stones especially those that fill the kidney or stones that remain untreated after a long time can cause permanent damage to the kidney and may lead to kidney loss this damage often occurs without any symptoms which is that is why it is important to see a urologist if you have a stone now there is astonishingly there is a relationship between the now you can see the second stone and it measures about 14 mm there is a sexual intercourse relationship with the ureteral stone and it is claimed that sexual intercourse may clear distal ureteric stones having sex 3 to 4 times a week was associated with a significantly greater stone passage rate than tamsulin or standard medical therapy sexual intercourse may be an effective way to clear distal ureteral stone researchers have concluded you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks